Hello again. I'm uh, back in Larchmont. You know, nice cold weather, but all the more reason to have some nice uh, red wine. This is a, uh, a Syrah from Paso Robles by Denner. If you recall, we discussed my visit to uh, Paso Robles where we discovered some uh, new places and this is one of them. I really, when I was there, I really just connected right away with the the kind of place it was. It was sort of straightforward, but nice. Uh, there's something about it, some honesty, some really transparency in the way they talk about the wine and the way the wine's tasted. So I've joined the club, which I've never done before. I bought a case of wine, you know, a, 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 a sort of a selection of things, and I got them delivered and I'm gonna start going through them. This is a 2013. I think we tasted it when we were there. So it's right to, it's right about the time where you can start drinking it. And uh, we opened this yesterday with some friend and it was really quite something. On the nose, <clears throat> and when I first opened it, you got that sort of wild Syrah, what I call the wildness of the Syrah, the, the bacon, the fat, the barnyard, you know, sort of flavors, you know, aromas at least on the nose. And now, a day later, you get more of the fruit and there's still some of that bacon. So, and, and the fruit is kind of nice and sweet. It's not uh, not really uh, 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 you know, it's not bitter or whatever. It's, it's kind of a nice sweet red fruit. The color is very Syrah, it's very purple. I don't know if you see that. It's, it's really purple with a nice uh, depth to it. Uh, these wines are made in a pretty sort of relaxed way, I would say, in terms of their philosophy. And they don't really feel they have to make everything perfect in terms of sorting, in terms of uh, racking, in terms of all that kind of stuff. They just let the wine talk. And if it's a vintage where it's not gonna be great, then they figured, you know what, let, let it be. If it's a vintage that is gonna be amazing, then let it do the talking. And, and so I kind of like that in terms of uh, philosophy. Uh, the 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 fruit is still very very prominent and it takes over after when you give it more air it doesn't really need a lot of air it talks to you right out of the the bottle so to speak mm. this is really nice see why it's got some salinity, but maybe that's me. I don't know, let's not forget the climate it's in. It's Paso Robles, it's not far from the sea. It's one of these areas we have valleys going east to west as opposed to north to south. So you get the air from the sea. You also have a very strong gradient in between the, of temperature between the day and the night. So it really helps cool things down even in the hot summers. So it's a unique uh, climate and it's gonna make unique wines. This year, uh, um, if you compare to some of the, uh, like the, the Syrah we had from uh, Tensley, which is a little further south in Santa Ines Valley. Very, you know, it's a different uh, uh, terroir, uh, but it's not very far, maybe 50, 100 miles, 50, 100 miles away. This uh, to me has a little bit more of a wild uh, factor in it. Uh, it does have the, the sort of depth of fruit that you find in California because of the, the sun, uh, but it has a little bit more uh, sort of of the savories, I think, in it. Let's just see what we have here again. But it's just um, very, very interesting because it's, it's got the fruit, it's got the salinity, very, very fine tannins. They don't really induce any sort of mouth puckering. The, the, the finish disappears just ever so gently. Uh, this is a wine also that's ready to drink right now and it's good right now. Uh, the Syrah, uh, if you remember the Tensely Magnum we had around Christmas, I kind of had to coax it out, you know, it needed time, it needed teasing. The last glass, like five days later, was really the best glass. So it's something that we need to remember. This is just perfect right now. And I'm gonna enjoy drinking more of the dinner. 
because I bought some uh, 13, 2013, 2014 vintages, so I can you know enjoy them uh, right away. Uh, and I'm still liking what I see here in terms of the, the immediacy and the, the frankness uh, uh, of these wines. Cheers and uh, see you soon.